Hey, what's good, y'all? We is, this is another session of breaking down our Constitution. A scripture that I've been using recently that I feel like a lot of us didn't know. Now a lot of us do know, especially if you've been reading my stuff. But um, it's 1 Corinthians 5, 12 and 13. It said, it isn't my responsibility to judge outsiders, but it certainly is your responsibility to judge those inside the church who are sinning. God will judge those on the outside but as the scriptures say, you must remove the evil person from among you. So we have an issue with the word judging, especially amongst believers. A lot of those scriptures talk about don't judge because a lot of us don't know how to judge. A lot of us don't know how to judge righteously. A lot of us just point the finger and, 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 and do this and do that. But you got a log in your eye. You're trying to get the speck out your brother, eye, but you got a log in your eye. He said, get the log out your eye, then, then you could judge your brother correctly. Then you will be able to judge them in love. You will be able to judge them righteously because you want to see them flourish. You want to see them come out of their sin. And we're talking about people that's in the church, not people that's outside of the church. Because as I told you before, and I will use this example for the rest of my life, because the church is a senate. The church is about governments. The church is about a country, a nation, which which our king, what, what, what heaven is about. So if you got another man that's living in Mexico, you can't tell the other man to do what you do in the United States of America because he don't abide by your rules. He don't claim your set. He don't claim your territory. He claim Mexico. You claim United States of America. They claim kingdom of darkness. You claim kingdom of light. So you only come and judge and show show that 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 correction mentality or that that judging and love and judging and righteously to your brother in Christ and sister in Christ. That's one of the issues I feel a lot of us lack in. That's why the church is so destroyed as it is now. First off, it's destroyed one because of the American westernized civil the western civilization of what the Bible is. We think like a democracy when it comes to the Bible instead of a kingdom like mentality. And two, you got the people of church screaming, only God can judge me. But that shows you right there that a lot of us don't know what God is telling us to do. He's screaming, only God can judge me. But he told your brothers that you're supposed to help each other out. But at the same time, the brothers that's helping us out really have to have the log and speck out of their own eye. I feel I'm thankful. I'm thankful. And it ain't nothing. It ain't no boasting. It ain't no pride. And on me, it's boasted on my king. It's boasted on the Holy Spirit. I, for the first time recently in my life, for the first time, actually, for the past couple of years, years been actually full fledged in the kingdom of God. I mean, all feet in, not not wavering, not moving, not going back and forth. And I've literally consistently continued to move any log that was in my eye, any speck that was in my eye. The Holy Spirit kept showing me and telling me, I asked the Holy Spirit, show me where it's dark at. Show me where it's not a view at. Help me to remove that. And I consistently, consistently began to remove it. And I have a couple of brothers in Christ that we keep each other accountable. Me and my wife, we keep each other accountable. That's how you help someone. You judge righteously. I tell a brother of mine that, hey, you know, we aren't supposed to be doing that, man. You know, our king got us out of that. Let's not go back to that. Because of that type of accountability, I've been able to soar. You know, I've been able, not just me, but the, you know, ones around me. The ones I've been getting closer to, we began to be able to soar like eagles. We be able to, we, we was able to become bold like lions now because we actually held each other accountable. We actually wanted to start reading and doing what the words say. We actually wanted to make sure we was doing the right things according to the word of God. We actually wanted to seek the kingdom and his righteousness. So because of those, that accountability, it kept us on our toes. It kept me on my toes. And that is one thing that the church don't 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 display accountability. And the crazy part, the crazy part is the world have more accountability with each other than the church do. <laughs> the irony, we supposed to be judging each other and keeping each other accountable so we can stay on guard. But we so busy fighting each other and so busy telling each other that you can't judge me. I can do what I want. That's that's the destruction. And, and that right there keeps the church and keeps. No. And let me not say the church, the counterfeit church. Let me start saying that the counterfeit church, because the true church out there is the true church out there. 
that that receives accountability, that receives the word of God, that receives correction, judgment. I mean, righteous judgment that understand what that term means, that understand what it means to be looking out for one another, to sharpen one another, to keep uh, each other on the same level so we can do what we have to do in the name of Jesus in, the, in, the, in our king's kingdom. We, we <laughs> It's a church out there that actually move like the, the government of God move. There's a counterfeit and there's an authentic. And you could tell the counterfeit. And I would truly believe this. Only hypocrites scream. In the church of God, only hypocrites scream. Only God can judge me. I get the world. The world's supposed to say that because only God can judge them. The scriptures say that. Only God can judge the world. But he leave it to us to judge. To, to, it's, like, it's like this. Your parents leaving. And they say, you know, especially the older brother, the, the elder of the make sure you 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 watch your you watch your younger siblings. Make sure you correct them in where they wrong at and such and such. And also, if the if the elder is acting dumb, <laughs> the youngest will wait till the parents come and tell <laughs> tell on the, young, the the elder what the what the elder been doing. So it's keeping each other accountable because we supposed to be watching each other. We just out here loose. But yet the world holding each other accountable. They they making sure when somebody messed up, they let it known and they and they att- <laughs> they they like it said in the scripture, you get the evil one among you. The the world will get the evil one from amongst them. If they not doing what the kingdom of darkness is supposed to be doing, they will get you out in a second. But in the kingdom of light, man, we got people doing some stuff that's like unbelievable. And we wouldn't bat an eye, you know, and if you do, it's like it's just and then and if you do bat an eye, you you judging in the most ridiculous way. You're doing the, I'm better than you judging. But find you someone that know how to hold accountable. And learn. And first off, you learn. You learn how to hold somebody accountable. You know how you do that? By holding yourself accountable. That's how I first started. I had to look in the mirror and say, you messing up. I had to look in the mirror and say, why is you doing that? I had to look in the mirror and say, you, you got to do better than that. That ain't what the Holy Spirit told you to do. What did the Holy Spirit tell you to do? And as I kept holding myself accountable, I was able to, to look to others. And others was able to look to me. And through the Holy Spirit, I'm able to now walk righteously in my king's steps. And just like the ones that's with me, they're able to walk righteously in my king's steps. Let's hold each other accountable, y'all. Let's stop, let's stop being afraid of these words called judging. Look up what I mean, see in the scriptures and see what he mean by what to do and what not to do, how to judge and how not to judge. Yes, yeah, a lot of ways we don't supposed to judge. And those are the ways y'all do it. Those are the ways people, the way we don't supposed to judge is the way people do it. And the way we supposed to judge, <laughs> we ain't, people ain't doing it. So I'm praying to the, our Holy Spirit that, that he reveals the true church and that he, he shows the true church as an example of what it's supposed to be. And, uh, and and most of the people can break out of this religious Western civilization, fake nonsense that that was that was placed on us. And they can break free from that mindset and look at the Bible and look at his word and the kingdom aspect. We can learn to hold each other accountable so good that we, we, we out here running like we running and, and dominating like we supposed to. We supposed to be out here dominating supposed to be out here having a we supposed to be taking over in every field in every field we said he said we supposed to be like yeast a yeast take over the whole dough so that's what you're supposed to do at your job that's what you're supposed to do at home that's what you're supposed to do in your neighborhood that's what you're supposed to do when you got people coming over are you being yeast or are you being dough and one of the ways to be able to be that yeast is having someone <clears throat> that can hold you accountable and 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 when we able to hold each other accountable and sharpen each other, that's how we become the true citizens that we're supposed to be. That's how we're able to actually be the true salt of the earth. And we're supposed to be representatives, and representatives need brothers and sisters to help each other along the way. So let's do that, y'all. Let's learn what true judging is. Let's learn what true judging righteously mean, and let's learn accountability. And once we learn that, we can do it, and we can get this. All right, I love y'all, and as always... Let's get it.